Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss reflection in intersecting lines and in axis. First of all, let us discuss reflection over axis. Now we have two axes, that is x-axis and y-axis perpendicular to each other. Now we will find what happens when we reflect a figure in y-axis followed by the reflection of obtained image in x-axis. Now here we have a triangle A, B, C. We have first reflected it in y-axis using the transformation where the coordinates x, y are transformed to the coordinates minus x, y. So here the point A with coordinates x, y is transformed to the point A dash with coordinates minus x, y. And we have obtained triangle A dash, B dash, C dash as the image of the given triangle ABC. And now again we have reflected this obtained image in x-axis using transformation where the coordinates x, y are transformed to the coordinates x minus y. So here the point A dash with coordinates minus x, y is transformed to the point A double dash with coordinates minus x minus y. And here we have got the triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash. And now carefully see the triangle ABC and triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash. And we see that triangle A double dash, B double dash, C double dash is a rotated image of triangle ABC at 180 degrees about origin because when a figure is rotated at 180 degrees about origin then we use the transformation where the coordinates x, y are transformed to the coordinates minus x minus y and here also coordinates of original figure are x, y and coordinates of this transformed figure are minus x minus y which means this is a rotated image of the original figure at 180 degrees about origin. Thus, if we compose two reflections over each axis, then the final image is the rotated image of original figure at 180 degrees about origin. And here you must note that order does not matter. We can also reflect in x-axis first followed by reflection in y-axis. And now let us discuss the reflection in intersecting lines. Now, when a figure is reflected in two intersecting lines, then final image is the rotation of the figure about the point of intersection of the two lines through an angle twice the angle between the intersecting lines. Now suppose we have any two intersecting lines M and N. Now we draw a quadrilateral A, B, C, D on the side of one of the lines say M. 
Now we first reflect the quadrilateral in the line M and then we draw perpendiculars from the points A, B, C and D to the line M and extend them. Now since M is the line of reflection, so we mark the image as point A dash such that both A and A dash are equidistant from the line of reflection M. Now you can also use a ruler to mark these points. Similarly, we have the other points as B dash, C dash and D dash. Now joining these points we get a quadrilateral A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash and this quadrilateral is the image of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D about the line M. Now the second line is N. Now taking N as line of reflection we plot the image points of A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash in the similar way and we get the new image points as A double dash, B double dash, C double dash and D double dash. Thus, new image is quadrilateral A double dash, B double dash, C double dash, D double dash. Now, if we see the original figure and final image, we see that final image is rotation of the original image about the point of intersection. Now, with the help of protector, we measure the angle of intersection at point P. And here, this angle is 90 degrees. And now we will measure the angle between the two images. For this we will take a original vertex and its image point. Now here let us take a original vertex B and its image point which is B double dash that is the final image point. Now from these two points draw a straight line meeting at point P. Now using protector, let us measure the angle B, P, B double dash. And this angle is 180 degrees. That is angle B, P, P double dash is 180 degrees. So here angle B, P, B double dash is 180 degrees which means angle of rotation of the image is 180 degrees and angle of intersection at point P is 90 degrees. This means angle of rotation of the image is twice the angle of intersection that is the angle at the point of intersection of two intersecting lines. Now if angle of intersection is x degrees then angle of rotation will be twice the angle of intersection that is 2 into x degrees. Now let us see an example where angle of intersection is given to us as 30 degrees. Now we can easily find 
the angle of rotation which is equal to 2 into angle of intersection that is 30 degrees and this is equal to 60 degrees. So in this session we have discussed reflection in intersecting lines and in axes. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.